Here's an idea for how to break out of a creative rut. Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com, and we're going to try a really simple process to begin art journaling by creating backgrounds. Sometimes a white page can be ridiculously intimidating, like way more intimidating than it probably should be, but it is. So we're going to conquer our white page fear by creating some simple backgrounds for our art journaling. So this is what I have pulled out. This is my 49 in market uh, memory journal. I've been using these as art journals this year and have very much been enjoying kind of mixing and matching photos and quotes and fun things like that. So that's what we're going to do today. But I started a brand new one that is all white because we're going to kind of do a theme and I thought I would bring you guys along. I'm just inspired to put paint on page and build from it later. And that's what I want to kind of jump in on today. So anytime I want to try something, I figured I might as well turn on the camera and bring you guys with me. I have that pulled out. I have some acrylic paint. I'm choosing to use the Dina Wakely acrylic paint. Um, really, you can use anything that you have on hand. Um, I also have some washi tape, which is going to be pretty important to how I want to format my journal. And otherwise, that is it. So I will put you guys on fast forward. We'll talk through why I'm doing what I'm doing and how I'm going to work in this journal. And I hope it inspires you. Like I said, it's a simple process. Anyone can do this with any art journal you have. Um, and I think you're going to enjoy it. All right, let's go. All right, here's the truth. And it's something that I have to remind myself of over and over again. Even if you're doing something you love, you can get burned out. Whether that is your work or your hobby, there can still be times of burnout. And it can be caused by all kinds of different reasons. And I have definitely been feeling burned out, been in a rut just been feeling like, oh man, I don't want to create. And that is something that I think we all have gone through at different times. Certainly, um, I experience it because I do this for a living. I create a lot of content a lot of the time um, with a busy life. And man, sometimes it just um, can feel really difficult. And in those times when it's feeling really difficult, I try to remember to give myself space to feel those feelings. It's okay to be in a bit of a rut. It's okay to not feel like creating. Sometimes that's what your brain and your body needs. Rest is um, an active thing you can choose to do. That's another thing that I try to remind myself. It's okay to rest. In fact, um, it's a choice you can make in order to uh, revive your body and to refresh your mind and spirit. And so um, when I'm in these kind of times, feeling a little bit drained, feeling like I'm in a rut, what I like to do is get back to the basics. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm getting back to the things that I know I love. And one of the things that I know I love all of the time are rainbows. I love color. I love rainbows. I love creating things in rainbow form. And that was kind of the jumping off point for this easy art journaling process. Am I creating full art journaling pages? No, certainly not. Um, these are just simple backgrounds, um, but I'm working in a semi rainbow order. It gets a little off a little bit. Turns out I don't have a yellow. Go figure. I don't have a yellow in the Dina Wakely uh, acrylics. So I definitely need to order some, but back to what I was saying. So I go back to the basics. I love rainbows. So that's what I'm going to go back to. Can I create something in a rainbow form? What else do I love? I love acrylic paint, just slapping paint on a page. Sometimes 
that's what you need to do. You need to get messy and slap paint. And that's what I'm doing. Um, so that was the jumping off point. Let me just see if I can create simple backgrounds. Are these ridiculously simple? Of course. What I'm doing is layering uh, the washi tape around the edges in order to create a white border. Love a nice white border, even if it gets a little messy some of the times. And then I'm just filling in the space in the middle with the acrylic paint going in rainbow order. Um, I won't fill up this whole book. I think I probably will once I'm uh once I grab for a few more paints outside of the Dino Weekly realm here. Um, but I'm just filling it up, creating these blocks of color that I think will begin to inspire me. Initially, the plan was to just add quotes onto each of these blocks to practice some hand lettering and put some quotes. But one of the ways I know that this is going to help me get out of a creative rut was because as I was just doing this simple repetitive process over and over again, I started getting inspired to try some other things. First of all, I love ephemera. Again, going back to the things I know I love, I love ephemera and I thought, won't it be fun to go through my ephemera and with each of these color blocks to almost do like a search through my ephemera for pieces that fit into these color schemes and create some monochromatic art journaling spreads with different pieces of ephemera, different stickers. You could keep an art journal like this uh, with you as you travel and almost use it as like a treasure hunt to find different pieces, different things that you can stick in. Um, I know so many of you love to cut out pieces from magazines. I do as well. It is a great um, relaxing activity to do at the television while you're watching a movie or listening to music to just trim out pieces from a magazine. Um, and if you find some that can fit within one of these colors and you just attach it in and create some collage pieces, I think it, that would be so much fun. I immediately began to think of the Rong Rong girls and how there are so many that might uh, go well on these pages, maybe representing different seasons or um, in combination with different quotes. I thought of fun patterns that I could create with the white borders that I am um, seeing come to life around the edges. A white border is just begging to be filled in with a pattern or with a quote or with stamping. There were, there were lots of things that started to come to mind. Simplifying the whole process, not trying to just jump in and create an art journal page from beginning to end, started to spark my creativity. Now, did I jump straight in and start doing these art journal things? No, because I'm still trying to give my mind and my body some space to rest because I think rest is where that creativity is going to start to spark again. But I love that the ideas started to flow just a bit. And I'm happy that I have this journal that I can now come back to and start creating it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I would love to hear from you down below, what would you do with these blocks of color? How would you add to this to create an art journal? What would you do um, in these pieces? Let me know, give me some suggestions down below, and then share what do you do when you are in a creative rut, when you're feeling burned out with one of your favorite hobbies, one of your passions, even burned out with different things in life, whether it's reading or cooking or working, whatever the case is, let me know down below because I think uh, we can all help each other kind of work through uh, these times. All right, I began to add a little bit of a border around some of those. I did like how that looked and I'm excited to see where this goes. I will most definitely be adding a follow-up video so that you guys can see how I end up using this art journal and I can't wait to read your suggestions down below uh, to see if some of them kind of spark some more inspiration for me as well. Thank you all so much for sticking with me. Even when I have these little periods where I'm just not feeling creatively inspired, it means the world to me that you guys um, watch these videos and that you take the time to like and comment. Um, I absolutely, totally appreciate it. Um, so thank you very much. Um, I will list the couple of supplies that I used. Obviously kept it very simple today. I will list those down in the description box below. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.